the Inn at Meridian in Union, South Carolina, a bed and breakfast. But now breakfast ain't the only thing it's serving up. They tell me it got 10 ghosts in there. Man, woman, chillin, Native American, and even a dog. The actual house was built in 1855 by the mayor of Union, who was also a dry good merchant on Main Street, and his last name was Keenan. About 1900 is when they named the house Meriden. We first started suspecting things were happening like were ghostly. Not too long after we arrived and started working on the house, we actually bought the house in 1990 and didn't open the inn until 1992. I've never seen anything here, but my ex-husband has. While we were working on the house, he and my brother both saw what they call the lady in the gray dress, and she was walking back and forth in the gift shop was once the library. Also, as we were working on rooms, we would go in and work and clean up and go back and find shiny pennies on the floor, which we've heard from people that that's usually some sort of a suspect. I had not been here permanently too long when I was working in the kitchen and my ex-husband was out in the backyard working and he saw what he thought was a lady standing in her window upstairs. He knew that there shouldn't be anyone else in the house. So he came in the house when he walked in, I was in the kitchen. So up the stairs he went, but uh, of course there was no one there. And that's the room where we hear lots of walking, people who stay downstairs, occasionally hear people walking in the room above them and there's no one there. So actually things started happening right away when we got here. Early 1990s, we had a clairvoyant come from Canada and she, quote, identified 10 energy forces, spirits, ghosts, whatever you would like to call them. There are also a couple of children in the house. Uh, we supposedly have a couple of Native Americans. Um, we supposedly have a, um, a black mammy who they think may have been Mrs. Duncan's caretaker when she was a child. And we even supposedly have a white dog in the house and a lady named Margaret. And uh, again, we've had people come over the last several years who have identified even more spirits. My assistant innkeeper was JD, which stood for just a darn cat. I didn't even like cats when he came here, but he came here as a new kitten and he loved people. He literally has his own fan club. He would go off into this foyer or to the upstairs foyer and stand and carry on not the usual just meowing, but very much changing the intonation in his voice and carrying on this long conversation with some sort of an entity. Some of our re recent ghost hunting guests seem to think that he might still be around, making sure that I'm doing my job because I was sort of his assistant innkeeper. We actually have lots of people in what we call the sister's room as one of our bedrooms upstairs that tend to see some sort of an entity that stands in the bathroom door. But most people who've seen or experienced things here tell me they never have felt frightened or fearful that everything is a good spirit. And that's the way we want to keep it. I make sure when I have ghost hunting groups come in that they're not doing anything to bring out any evilness.